Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It just says it's happening now. Doesn't say. Just say it's not. Oh, no, it's live um, now. Okay, cool. It's hello. live now. Hello, everyone. Sorry. Just hello. Trying to We're find. Both here. Is it coming up on Facebook? Gotta love this. There we go. I put extra steps in some of the sharing. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Yep, I'm yeah, going to get it in the group. Excellent, beautiful. Right, well, tonight you've got a bit of, I want to call this a combo class. Oh, yeah. It's a short and sweet. It's a short and sweet. We're going to do a tutorial type design. When we're here in two hours' time. Someone remind us that was short, short and sweet. sweet. Yeah, because we're going to do a mini book. It's a six by six mini book, if I'm not correct. Well, cover. Mini book cover. Oh, uh, I just clicked on that. Mum's going to do the base bit, and I'm doing the decorating. And we're going to do the decorating first. Let me just pull out the guillotine. Now I'm just going to make the embellishment for the front. What are you going to do with the guillotine? Cut it down to six by six, the piece of paper. Oh, they're going to stand on. Yeah. Well, no, five on? and three quarter by five and three quarter. How am I going to build it? Yeah, we're going to build it on a piece of this. Um, sure, yeah, we'll do it on a piece of cottage garden paper number... Oh. No kit. No. No kit, by the way, peeps. So, so do five and three quarter or five and a I'm half? I'm going to do five and three quarter. I reckon it'll be a nice yeah. egg border for you. Yeah. And then we'll use the rest of that on the inside of the book. Yes. We're going to make a book cover. We're going to make one page, maybe. Really? No, we're making the book cover. That's it. Book cover and then how to do it. <laughs> Hello, Pam and Deborah. Hello, Karen and Joanne. Hello. And hello, Di. Okay, so what we're starting with is the cottage garden colour cover. I'm going to put a link up. Maybe you should sit out in all of my classes and explain what, I, what I'm doing. And I just, you know, be silent. That could so work. Nanny John designed this. Yes. Set of colour cuts. She took a long time to design them. Hello, Trish. Never fully explained why I designed it. Maybe um, we should do all our classes here like this. It's actually not it doesn't bad. Doesn't involve the bar stool in the in my part of the studio. But it's not bad. I feel a bit more connected to the Oh, oh. <coughs> <coughs> for everything in your area but I think I'm getting used to it I think we're just gonna leave the one little ring light on sorry yeah yeah we, uh, um, hello Bronnie hello Debbie so we're just gonna we, lay out our we thought about doing this on Saturday night but we decided not to and now we're finding out why I'm not allowed to come to her classes because I talk too much no 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 we we'll keep talking I'm just lying out the color cut so the reason why this cut cut was made because we had this piece of paper in Cottage Garden. Um, and, then we didn't. and then we don't anymore. It's sold out. It's sold out. Um, and it's because it's an amazing piece of paper designed by Why don't you keep this barrel here and you can put it on the inside of the cover of the album. Okay, we'll keep that barrel. And a couple of flowers. Okay, we'll keep a couple of flowers, but not many. Oh, dear. I've lifted it up now. Okay. Hello, Diana, and hello, Karen. Hello, hello, hello. So we're just quickly making the front of the the, the mini book. This is the so front. Diana, your book cover we're not using tonight. Your book cover, your six by eight mini book cover set doesn't have a picture on the website, but it is there. We're going to use six by six, but this is for Diana. See, see. there you go. If anyone done. else has any more requests for the sizing, please let us know. Okay. Um, DC Creations. I think that's Diana again. Yes, it is. We have this discussion every week. Yes, it we is are Diana truly again. Sorry. Watching on YouTube. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I think I'm quite unhappy with that. I do have another butterfly here somewhere. Paul is bad doing two things at once tonight. Hello, Lisa. Paul's bad. Okay. 
Um, hello, Laura. How are you? Okay. And what's our what's our thing going to be on the front? We've got memories, memorable, or timeless. Whichever one you want to put on the front cover. This is what we're covering the cover with. I feel like memories. Oh yes. And if we did this in pink. Or the peachy color. Or the peachy color. Okay. Okay, hi. So, can you mix metallics with white? Yeah, but what about this? Have we opened this one yet? This no, is the. Not. What we no, the from... no, we have opened. Just don't move the wheels. We have opened Candlelope now. There was a time when Candlelope was not open. Mum doesn't what was like that? the palette thing. Mum doesn't like Candlelope very much. Oh, it's just I haven't used it. It's not that I don't like it. Candlelope is not her. Oh, I'm opening a new tube of paint. <laughs> and the seal is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I am a keeper of memories, as I tell my dad. Yeah. I'm not a hoarder. A hoarder of crap. I'm not a hoarder. I'm a keeper of memories. Yeah. I have very important memories to keep. AKA, this one's not bad. Oh, we can't. I normally use the chubby ones because I just, you know, go. <laughs> and your face explained it all. Right, let's first do a layer of candlelight. Hello, Mary. Hello, Margaret. How are you? We just on a quick. We did an unboxing here. today, and Margaret was um, the only person that made it to it because it was short and sweet, and Facebook didn't put it up until we probably finished. That's okay. We were having fun. Well, yeah. you guys were. I was out the back, so on the chipboard. Yeah. Dad has decided that he's finally going to help with the sorting of the chipboard. Yeah, right. However, he has made this target of it being sorted by Monday. And then has proceeded. Monday's a public holiday. He hasn't worked that one out yet. No, he hasn't worked that one out. But then proceeded to only spend an hour doing it. So, hi, Jeanette. To make it to the Monday target. I'm just going to go and burst his bubble and unwind him at Monday's public holiday. Kill, cool, yeah. You, you go and do that one. And I'm going to keep on going. Hey, Quentin, Monday's a public holiday. Yes. Did you know that? You were going to sort chipboard, get it all done by Monday, weren't you? Wow. I think you've got carrot on your ear. <laughs> and we're just coming in it's with the opposite bit of... ear to where she was sitting. It's gone now. We're just coming in with some candlelight from the yeah. other metallic color, which I didn't remember yeah. as a name. Shane is away, so I think I need to go shopping for book sizes. I think you do too. Wow. There's just a few. See, Annie. You need to show them what you're doing. I am. I'm... No, no, they can't see that far. It's a million miles away. You can't see it. Oh, well, that's because we're using a. Yep, but it, it's tiny. Okay, right. I've got this covered. Now I need to follow my own advice. Hello, Tina. How are you? Love this family sister now. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe we need to do classes a bit more like this. So you've squeezed out that much paint because you're intending on after class going and painting, aren't you? Holidays are on. Holidays are on. I've got a four day weekend. I plan to do absolutely. Your dad plans to go to the Harbour Festival apparently tomorrow night. What? Yep. We're going out? I'm going to sit on a chair where you kids leave me there. Dad's going to go and watch some <laughs> terrible concert, whatever it is, and you guys are going to walk Amelia around. Oh, we can go on the Dodgem cars. I'm so ready. I'm better at driving oh, now. I'm, I'm not staying with your dad. I'm going with you guys. I'm going on the Dodgems then. You coming for a Dodgems? I love the Dodgems. I, I, think... I used to go on the Dodgems when it's I'm so much better oh, at driving Tina. now. Yeah? Tired, you. Oh, yeah, we are very tired. Um, we playing a scrapbook too. Oh, so, Naomi John, we forgot to tell you today. So, we've got a new terminology. Oh. So, so, um, 
You needed water, love. You need to clean that out. I'm going. So we're walking into school and we don't have our brollies because we've got the hire car because the car's in getting fixed again. It's not the car's fault. It's just it wasn't fixed properly the last time in Brisbane. So it was raining a lot and Quentin's in flip-flops and I said, we'll have to be careful so Dad's not doesn't start aquaplaning and Amelia goes, What's that? Complaining in the rain. <laughs> I did. I did explain what aquaplaning is. But she goes, no, nah, no, nah, complaining in the rain. It's dad. That's, it's that's dad. What aquaplaning is. It's complaining oh in the God, rain. We've made it skin colour. Oh, so my God. That's nice. fucking hilarious. Don't swear. <laughs> Don't swear. Would you like to go and wash out the paintbrush for me? Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Please send right. Oh, Tina, it was so dry it, here. It was very. It was the, like our wow. lawn was crispy. Everyone else in Queensland has had so much rain. We have had brown. none, and it is just devo. Our roads are very oily right now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we have enjoyed the little bit of rain we've had. Mm. Being like, nice. Yes. It's, it's um, we now know what aquaplaning is. Yep. Complaining in the rain. You don't get to complain in the rain very often, though. No, you don't get to complain in the rain very often. All right, now we're going to decide what we're going to raise and what we're not going to raise. So we're going to do this quite quickly. Uh, critical point in time. So I think we're going to raise this bit, not this one. Or we'll raise this one. Okay, I've got plans. So we're definitely going to raise him. So let's come in. We're just going to first put on our trippy strips where they need to be. A friend of mine said today that um, she plans on sleeping until her body wakes her up tomorrow and then her child, who's been difficult to get out of bed all week, goes, now I'm getting up early tomorrow. She's planning to play. <laughs> planning to play. If anyone wakes me up before 8 o'clock tomorrow, their name is Mud. <laughs> right, so we have none since, oh, not normal. Yeah, well, that's really awful, Tina. I'm so sorry. I wish we could, we'll, we'll, we'll send you some rain. Um, we'll try to. Normally we have very wet, a mm. lot more rain than what we've had so in the last rain, 12 months. I've gardened on the weekend. It's only rain because we can garden. You yeah, probably want some rain too. Hello, Chloe. How are you? It's been a very hot summer. It's been a hot, dry summer here. Very humid, but as well. Not a dry heat, a humid heat, but no rain. You know, it's not a fun heat. I like the heat mm. more than the cold. Oh, we don't like the cold. I hate the cold. I will live in a desert before I live. For another winter. Um, okay, and then I, You're not I do moving like to it. Melbourne. I take it. No, if I tell you I'm moving to Melbourne, you make sure you check that I haven't been flying. <laughs> Any red shores tell you they're moving to Melbourne? Will be well, fine. apart from we'll Milton, I think he would love to move to Melbourne. If someone told no, him, no, he won't live there in the winter. He won't live there in the winter. No. Oh, he does like to rug up, but he doesn't. Um, I don't think he's moving to Japan. He said he's never felt that cold before in his life and he did not enjoy being cold in Japan. Okay, noted. So we're just trippy stripping our two butterflies as well. I realise I have to talk about the cards. There's Queensland cold and then there's the rest of the world well, cold. Well, Mary needs rain as well. I think actually Jeanette's the person that needs to send us rain. She's been getting lots of rain. Yeah. Lucky yeah. Ducks. Cancel or then I don't know if it's Lucky Ducks. Because I've been getting a bit too much rain. Putting the kids to bed, looking forward to bed tonight. I bet you are, Chloe. In the term, is just this term has been it's, quite horrendous. It's, it's got my parcel awesome. today, says Diana. Yay! Awesome. Oh, I'm amazing. Check that people's parcels are. Deborah's in Victoria and doesn't like the cold. Oh, Deborah, you need to come and live up here. I'm telling you, we don't like the cold at all. I will fully admit, we were in, what were, in 2019, we were in Townsville for winter. Now that. In August, we in were in August, Townsville. And that was amazing, okay? I was we wearing, wearing t-shirts. A yeah, t-shirt? We loved it. 
I was I was happy. Never moved to Townsville in December. Is there going to be a kit for tonight's class? <laughs> um, possibly not. I don't know. This is more of like a quick tutorial, but in saying that, how long have we been creating for now? Too long. 15 minutes. Okay, right. We've used up 15 minutes of our half an hour. Oh, shoot. Um, we'll see. Why if is we, the light if, out? Because we're currently using we've the got design the, board. We've got a design board. Oh. And I'm um, spinning up the process. Hello there, <laughs> watching on my TV with YouTube and commenting on Facebook. I'd awesome. Seen, I'd seen Council Gregory is amazing. Lightning, but we could get kicked off for the music. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. dare. Still very much copyright issues with that. Lived in Townsville for 15 months. Mm. I don't mind Townsville. I don't mind Cairns. No, I could live. Cairns in winter is awesome. Okay, all right. So then we've got this one here, but we need to double trippy strip the base. Can we go down a bit lower? We mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do it a bit lower. Don't worry. We've got this covered. Oh, so you're going to do double height trippy strip? Yep. So then we can go that lower level. Who wants to go to work? Bring my luggage. No, no, I'm not going to Coles because so the lineup of cars to get into the Coles car park at the lights today went through. It went around across the front of Coles. Out through the long drive, and then so through the light. So was the line up the to Harbour Festival. In Harbour Festival in we do have Harbour Festival. It is one of the largest um, regional festivals in um, the and country. And it's free. And it's free. Lots of free entertainment. And tonight is family night. Yeah, no, Saturday night's usually family night. Oh, it used to be Thursday night, but Thursday or Saturday or Friday. There'll be fireworks tonight. But we'll just listen to them. We you might, hear them across the whole town. We might actually um, stand on the front drive. The lady that served them. me at Woolworths today says her dog tries to protect her from the fireworks by jumping the fences and chasing the fireworks. Oh, no. So she must be close enough to see him. When she, um, when she knows the fireworks are about to begin, she has to call him inside and, you know, put him on a rope. Otherwise, he just chases the fireworks. We were in a tourist oh. town, says Tina, staying, hiding on the farm. Yep. Oh, I love what you have done so far, says Thank D. You. There you go. We're just sticking your flowers down by memory because, um, you know, that's why I trash doing. the design. Pretty much. Um, I don't use design tools often. Cause My it's... contribution to tonight was peeling the tape off the backing boards. Oh, thanks, Dad. Um, well, we're not using that backing board. No, we're not. Oh, oh these. Oh, yes. we are. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, cut our these. Um... What's it McCoy? We did try getting it to be a drone display. I was very upset. Naomi tried to get the fireworks changed to a drone display. I don't know how that would have went in the drizzling rain. You're not helping my argument. Better than fireworks. <laughs> fireworks are very expensive. Yeah, but what happens when drones start falling out of the sky on people? Well, that's why the company has insurance. You just pay the insurance. Done. Okay. Oh, no. That's pretty good. I live in a very utopian world. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no, you delusional don't. world. Is that what you call it? No. No. Well, maybe. If you want some reality, just feed a million of it. Then you'll have reality. Do you need to come back from utopia? Oh. I wouldn't call it actually utopian. But yep, here we go. Let's keep sticking. We don't need to talk about my mental health. And there we are. Look at that. I don't remember where this bad boy was, but we're going to stick him somewhere because he was in the design. Don't get your butterflies. Oh, no, I won't. I'll put them up there for a reason. But I was going to forget them. And look at this. I'm telling you, colour cuts. Colour cuts are the way to go. And this is what she designed it to do. See? It's like a 30 minute car. Yeah, <laughs> no, a 20 minute. 19 minutes. 19 minutes. minutes and we messed around for a little bit too. Um, where are you putting your time shine today? And it was a nightmare. Oh, it was a nightmare. Don't forget the shop shut for one day, so you've got 29 days worth of food. I reckon there. I reckon there too. Make sure it's straight. 
to get them. It is a lovely here. pack of colour cuts. I did put a link to them up, up higher. I do like how this new printer printed prints them. Yeah. We were a bit funny at first about the colour, but... I do like it. Okay, here we go. We're very happy with how it um, turns out. I'm doing it this way because I have a problem with overloading these little skinny titles as I am heavy handed. Actually, I don't think I put a link up. Did I put a link up to the colour cards? Um, you're telling that story, not me. No, I put a link up to Cottage Garden. Okay. Yeah. And then... <laughs> Look at that. We stuck it on straight by the looks of it. And we squint our eyes and turn our heads a little bit. There we go. Ah, and that's the front of our card made. Well, the front of our mini book made. So now I'm going to make the cover. Right. I just have to go and check on Amelia where she's at in her night routine, and then I will be back to you. Yep. Scrub with you. Um, you're going to need to move because I don't want to run you over. I, I do Bastard. like you. <laughs> you do like me. Yeah. Rightio. Yeah. Let's we tag go. team. Tag team, we're switching. Rightio, let's get rid of the paint. Oh, yes, thank you very much, Lee. That's me. Oh, she's taking the paint. That's right. Rightio. I can stay up until midnight and paint. Oh, yeah. We go to bed. We'll do that. Wake up at eight. Right, let's move that there. Let's put this over here. Looks sensational. That's beautiful. Naomi says die. That's really cute, says Chloe. Wonderful, says Tina. Beautiful, says Dee. This would make a really good holiday card to do with kitties. Yep. Love the simplicity. Yep. Okay. So we've got some... Cutest farm number four. A couple of sheets of that. And then we've got the rest of this piece of cottage garden number four. And then we've got a set of six by six covers. There's no picture for six by six online. The other sizes we have are six by eight, which has no picture either. And then we have the two and a half by three. So it's so when I say six by eight, it's six inches wide and eight inches high. So two and a half by three is this one. And let me just grab it out of my tub. So this is what we made on Tuesday when we're doing card making class. So that's a two and a half by three. On there. It's a six by six. So then, remember this one from when Noah had COVID a couple of years ago? That is a five by five. Oops, one's five. One's five. Five by five. So that's the five by five set, makes that one. And then this is the one I made on Sunday that this weekend I'm going to finish decorating. So this is a 5x7 and it is... Oh, is this, is this one? Nope. I don't have a set of it because I used my um, prototype. And the other size is a 7x6, which is great for a baby album. So it's... So it's seven across by six high. I don't have a five by seven set left. Oops. That's why there's not a picture of the chipboard on it. So we're going to use a six by six. And we're going to use our new um, creative cover tools to cover it. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. So we're going to do a six by six and it has a two inch spine. And then we have our quarter inch spaces to 
put between to get an even space and they give us this really nice hinge here so they give us a really nice you need those spaces to get a very nice piece there this has been back and forth a few times i've quite quite annoyed it um there's a link there I was doing to the album, to the collection. It's gut bargaining. Okay, so we're going to need an 8 by 6, 7, Eight. So if we do two eight by eight pieces, all right, that's correct. Um, Inga. Hello, Inga. Do you sell the spaces? Yes, we do. Let me get the spaces. the spaces come with the corner tool, and I will show you how the spaces and corner tool work. So we're going to cut two pieces that are eight by eight. This will make your life so much easier. Oh, I think it will. I, well, at the moment, I'm eyeballing my spaces, which is why some of the mini books I make have better space on one side than the other. Yeah. So we've got our two pieces, our two eight by eights, and we're going to stick them together. So I'm just going to use 12 mil tape. You do need... Good old tea roller. So it lined up. And I'm just overlapping to there. And then lining up. To there. So it's sort of straight. There we go. And this is the kind of design where you can't see the join. Love, love, love that. Just want a craft knife to get it out of its safety position. Okay, so we've got our piece, our long piece. And we've got our tea ruler and we're going to line up our piece of cover paper in our tea ruler. Bye, dear. Bye See ya. Dear. Have fun at Coles. Mm. Well, See you in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Don't wake up. Then we're going to get our corner tool, so it's got a mitre on it, and then these are like a nice inch wide, and so we're going to pop it in here in the corner. So we've got our paper up against the corner in our T-ruler, and then we've got our corner tool in there, and then we're going to get some glue and tape, which should be a moment where i say here's one i prepared earlier so <laughs> just checking that you're up because i didn't prepare put my tape on ahead of time it was right last when it's just like, aren't you surprised? And I'm like, I am very surprised. That so you did Easter gifts for someone today? Yep, yep. And uh, I was very surprised because normally they do it five minutes before we finish, before Good Friday. What? And then you have to make them and he picks them up. What's that? Oh. We do okay. it five minutes before Weiwei finishes. But he gave her an hour. Oh, dear. So I was very surprised. I said it was so he gets organized. Easter gifts from work for his kids. I suppose I've done that before. Mate. I've done stockings for his kids, Santa hats. Shouldn't say that because he could be watching this. So we're, now we're going to add some glue. Oh, that's a lot of glue. We want it to stick. Fair enough. A white glue is best. And um, how much uh, treat? What type of treatment do you think this is going to get at work? Oh, bad. Bad, you I peeled the backs of the tape, didn't I? Yes, yeah. you did. It's all good. You're all right. 
so the tape gives us stick but the glue gives us slip Also, no one's hopped in the shower. Spacer. And you have it with the um, writing up. So we can remove that for the moment. Spacer. In the spine. Lots of glue. Not that much glue. I'm trying to slow the process down so you can see me do it. <laughs> Got, this. Got this. Did you put a link up to the whole section? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that beforehand yeah. and then I did just the spaces. Another spacer. Oh, we see why you've got two now. I was just like, can't you just move it? That makes so much more sense. You can also audition it on your piece of paper to know that you didn't muck it up like I did. Mm -hmm. oh. Because I didn't add the uh, spiny bit. I didn't count the outside piece. This outside piece. Hello? So it's actually six by ten pieces. So you need two pieces that are six by ten. Our landline just died, so I don't know who was calling. But if it's a rello, your phone's next. I know. What are we doing? I just all turned apart. So let's just line this up here. It's actually two six by ten pieces we need. Oh, six by six by nine. It's not bad. So this. I'll just make sure that's the front. Because it'll be covered. I wrap this Let's just put it on. Should, Should be right. Should be right. It's going to be inside the cover. Exactly. No one's going to know. Well, apart from everyone watching. Stick. Stick. Oh, we're looking to the So then we're just going to come at the end up here with our one inch wide T ruler and go like that. Look at that. Beautiful. No one's the wiser. Oh my god. I'm so quick. Yep. So where do I put this? Corner tool. Two of eight by nine. <laughs> um two eight by nines. Sorry. Yeah, two eight by nines it has to be. Sorry, I'm Karen. We just need one inch on each or one inch at each end. So two eight by nines. We'll just edit that. Two eight by nines. Hold up, let me come in. So we're just gonna put this on the corner and then we're just gonna cut across here and then we get our nice little miter and there we go. Like this is one of those places on a mini book where I dither and I dither and then I don't like it and then and that's all I'm doing so that's done and then we take our spaces out now I have put this tool set at 1995 Quentin thinks it needs to be 2195 <laughs> so it'll probably be 1995 until he wins just so you know Okay. So what's our next step? So my next step is to put some tape mm -hmm. on these pieces around here. This seems so much easier. You betcha. 
my mini books have never looked that neat. Oh, I usually get quite stressed. Oh, look, we've got two joins on this. And it's going to be fine. So we're just going to do our little roll, our fold roll. We don't want to sort of stress the cardstock, the paper too much. We want to... Um, I do find our paper um, is the right thickness. Like this is even, so remembering Lavender Dreams is slightly thicker and this is like being fiddled nice. with and played with and it's not stressing out at all and it's slightly thicker than our regular because there was a shortage of paper. Okay. Got our glue. Mm -hmm. Remove our tape. Mm -hmm. So when we stuck these on here, you could get a brayer, but we don't have a clean brayer to our name. No. All our brayers have paint on them. Mm. Oh, has that told you yet? We've lost the brayer in the colour cut area. Oh, we've lost the brayer at work. He thinks he might have accidentally taken it out to the wheelie bin on bin day, but by the time we had noticed, the wheelie bin man had been. So we might have lost our brayer at work. Right. So that means I've got to buy a new brayer. I'm telling you this. He hasn't I'm... told me this yet. No. He's quite fearful because he knows he's the one that's <laughs> potentially chucked it out. Because I cannot find it. Okay. So I've got it to this point. So what we're going to do is we're just going to crease just here. We're just creasing just here. We're just putting a little crease in each corner, like that. Is that to help it fold? Uh, yeah, it does. It helps it sit flat. And then what I do is I get a little bit of the glue and I just put a little bit of glue down here, just down here in the corner. Okay. Just a tiny bit of glue. is just so simple. Um, I've made a few prototypes. My corner tool has had a few iterations. Mm, the first two snapped. Um, well, one of the, the one of the first ones, Quentin just went, oh, is that strong enough? I'm like, well, that's not what people are going to do with it. Um, yes, but it's what because your husbands are going to do with it. <laughs> remembering to make something like this, I actually have to be able to draw it as a graphic to make it work. Right do you so The ladies might not do what Dad did to the tool, but... No. So we've got our cover. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to do this. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. So simple. So then, depending on how you're going to do it, if you're going to do this sort of thing with, so so this set, this piece of paper sits card sits inside this piece of card, which sits inside this piece of card, which sits inside this piece of card. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. they sit inside each other. So if you're going to do that, we need to put a piece of this cover in here if you're going to do well 
if you're going to do this one, you've got to do the same thing. Okay. So I made mistakes in here. This one is, so this is one piece here, and this flips around here. But when it's stuck to the next one, it makes a pocket. Or if you make, I don't have an example here, I didn't bring one home. If you make like an accordion spine, you, you don't, cover don't need to cover it. But we're going to cover it. So we're going to get a piece of this beautiful stuff. And how big is this? We might just run with what this is. This is like four and three, four and five eighths okay. by let's do four and five eighths by five and three quarters. I'm just going to go that width by five and three quarters. How many pieces do you This one. So down the middle, I'm going to put some tape, like down the centre. And then I'm going to get it. The only thing it matters that matters is that top to bottom it looks okay. So this piece of paper is perfect because the non-contagious glitter isn't a certain way or anything. So you don't have to worry about it. It's a non-directional print that looks awesome no matter what way it goes. Like the Hessian. See, my piece in here is a piece of Hessian. Now, this white glue is really good for this because you can just wipe the excess away so then I'm going to get my finger and run it down could you do this with the bone folder or do you, you could but you've got to be careful not to bust the paper so while it's still wet I'm just going to run it down push it out and then I'm just going to gently it does get a bit of a pucker a bit of pucker business going this is why you do it while it's wet and then we're just going to we don't want to break the paper like we don't want to break its spirit there we go and you do get a little bit of pucker business here but you can glue that down there we go just gluing that down as i go because i've got wet glue on here and i'm just got glue ooze Right. there we go so that's a cover and our inside and at this point in time front and back are front and back so where's what we're going to stick on the inside here let's put some of our brick because we've used brick on the front um, bit of do we have one of these colors in that pile in the newer papers. We might have a super fun time. So let's do a five and three quarter by five and three quarter square. Because it's a six by six book. Alan. I just want something for the slither. No, look on the other side there, though. Nope. About this one. Oh, hold up. I just want to slither around it. Do you know what I mean? To make it pop because I think it's going to be flat. Okay, hold up. Yeah, yeah, I've got to be a piece of that. I've got this one. Yeah. 
Is there any questions while we're at this point? Does anyone have any questions? Yes. Anyone else taking this down? This is like the... So I usually use red tape in mini books, but because it's been so hard to get for so long and I've been working on prototypes for this without it, it's like, yep, who needs it? So the glue gives us slip and the tape gives us grip. Like traction control yeah the higher car we've currently got someone turned the someone has either turned off the traction control or it doesn't work so we've been very careful because we couldn't get up our driveway the other day it is quite steep but in the rain we couldn't get up it so it was a bit scary the kids got a little bit scared because we were yeah Quentin was driving and it, so it wasn't me trying to burn out on the driveway no so you know it was not me doing a burnout on the driveway. Don't know how people live without traction control after that. Sorry. Yeah. I do. Bring on when our car comes back on Wednesday. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay. So let's get this and let's get that's five and three quarters so you may do that because i think that oh um, do we have a coral color oh no bring back the paint Yep, you have to give me back the paint. No one's got any questions. Have they all left? They have not all left. Do, do you want me to give you the instructions for... Um, this first bit. For the pages some pages you could put inside um, basic pages it would be margaret h says that that yellow paper is a fair bit yellow paper i love too. that yellow paper it just brings happiness honestly such a happy paper. um and then chloe says love the bricks look against the glitter paper yeah. and we've got guesses to the uh pages the inside pages right yeah there's a yeah there's a steady stream of yes there Okay, we will do the same type. Let's put that up on the keyboard and let's get paint on the magic keyboard for the iPad. Um, we will do the same type of page construction that I did for this one. It is one of the easier ones. Yep. And it's effective. It's very effective. Yep. You don't get crocodile. Nope. Better with four sets of pages, so eight pages in here. And let me just, my instructions are over there. So, oh, I'm going to give them to them as a printout. No, 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 we're going to just do this. Oh, okay. Can you give me. No, it must be in the tub of time. I've lost my instructions. That is wonderful. I'm just making sure that what's in my head is correct. 
Alright, strange from quarters. I'm just going to write this down because I've just got to convert this as I go. Do we want to do a separate video and then put the instructions? The page is not. One on one eighth, and that is no, no, that's okay. Yep. Okay. Is she going back in her own bed, or are we doing that? No, she's done in her own bed. So I've got some white cardstock, and I only need two sheets. So you only need two sheets of cardstock for your inner. In the, for your inside pages so what you actually do is you work out what your pages are going to be so mine are going to be like five and a half inches high and five and a half inches deep right so it's gonna be five and a half by five and a half so what we do is we take our five and a half by five and a half so they make the two of those together make 11 so this is not a perfect scenario because at one stage we have to add an inch and a half so if we make them five and a quarter wide by five and a half high we can get it out of a 12 without being bodgy with our measurements bodgy being a very technical term so we're going to make them five and a half high by five and a quarter wide so that we end up with a measurement that we can work with. So is everyone ready to write this down? Because my scribe has gone. So the first one, so this is going to be the very outside, is going to be five and a half inches by 12. So five and a half by 12. The next one is going to be five and a half inches by 11 and five eighths. So that's halfway between 11 and a half and 11 and three quarters. So five and a half by 11 and five eighths. That's number two. So then number three is going to be, remember I'm working this out on the fly, five and a half by 11 and a quarter. Yep. And the last one is going to be five and a half inches by ten and seven eighths. So that's halfway between ten and three quarters and eleven. So you'll notice they're going down by three eighths of an inch at a time because our little centre spiny bits go up by three eighths of an inch. I don't know why three eighths works, but three eighths looks better. Trust me, I did lots of um, hacking and cutting and. What happens? They're uh, only doing the color. Well, we're doing. We're just doing a set of pages, and then they've got to work out their own flippy things. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in five and a quarter inches, turn it, and come in five and a quarter inches. And we're going to do that on all four pages. So five and a quarter, turn, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, turn, five and a quarter. So our page measurements are 
Oh no, someone put them up. Yeah, yeah. Deborah has been a doll and she's put them up, which is lovely. Deborah is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. And so the score line is five and a quarter. Five and a quarter from the ends. Five and a quarter, turn, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, turn, five and a quarter. So if we were to make these five and a half by five and a half, you can tell that this last page is not going to fit. Oh. It just would not fit because we wouldn't get it out of a 12 inch piece. We actually need a um, 12 and a half inch piece. So, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this thing here. So, now what we're going to do we've got five minutes. We're at the hour mark. <laughs> we're at the hour mark. So much for a half hour class doing a colour cut cover embellishment and a um mini just book. a mini book cover so you're gonna have to work your own flippy things out or i might i might do a pdf or something well, this gives you eight pages it's 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 a good little start Especially if you've not made a lot of mini books. This is actually a really simple spine treatment. It's a bit of a cheetah reader. Spiny treatment. It's definitely a bit of a cheetah. Right. So let's tape our spines. Have a bit of tape on that one. Oh, there's the fireworks, peoples. It's the eight o'clock fireworks. They're three minutes early. Three minutes early. This would never have happened with a tree as well. Never have happened with a tree. She'll keep working on it. Eventually, she'll get the drone display, and you'll all know about it. Yeah. Righty-o. Yeah, it's Christmas Carol. So we still need a bone folder and some glue. Deborah says it's much easier than the page construction uh, yeah. she learned. Some of the page construction methods are just really tricky. Righty-o. You bind a book, some of the sewing methods are just elaborate. So we do need to spread this. We this is where we don't want smoosheroos. We do not want glue smush at this step in the thing. But and we do it want it stick. but we do want it to go right up to our folds. Mm -hmm. But we do not want it smushing out. No. So where'd that tea ruler go? We need to get our tea ruler. And we need to sit our tea ruler here and we just need to find where our spine is and know on our tea ruler where our spine is okay so i know my spine is sorry my finger was just going all sorts of weird there but i know my spine is from there to there so now we're going to into that I know where the center is on here maybe getting the centering ruler out would be a better idea and then I'm going to just center it top to bottom bit of eyeballing going on here actually it's the same mark as the spaces what's that? I think it's the same with the spaces it's the same spaces it is the same with the spacer do you want me to put the spacer up there so you can actually? It's about there. I think you're good. Centering will all be there in a better proposition. Yep, that feels about right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our bone folder. Just want to get it 
that it's nicely glued down. There you go, it's no glue smosh. No glue smosh. So that's glued in the center. So where's our next smallest one? Let's not make the mistake of putting in one that's um not small and um, you know. Is there one, one before that? No, this is the next one. I have made sure using one of the glue spreaders I was born with. Oh, very fancy. Just like the just the same as the paintbrushes we were born with. Like a nice um, they are unique. I don't think I And have not the all same. of mine have fingerprints because yeah, I, was say, I don't think I have the same. My brother was print. going my little brother was going to test if the cigarette lighter in my mother's car worked well the car was turned off and I said no you're not doing that I'll get in trouble if you do that and I said well and he goes I need to know I have to know rather inquisitive creature so this takes a little bit of effort just to get it because we're going to try and eyeball it and get it in the center there's probably a better way to do this I'll wake up tomorrow and know it we can pay, do a Facebook post yeah no I haven't found the better way so that's why we use the glue for slip. So tape for grip, glue for slip. Anyway, yeah, it's actually... Um... Yeah, so he had to do it and he was going to do it. And I said, well, how about I do it? So then you know the answer to the question. <laughs> and I don't get in trouble because you got hurt on my watch. So, yes, old Toyota Crowns, a cigarette relighter, does work. When the car is turned off. I wasn't going to set something on fire. Because that was his next option. <laughs> Just don't go there. You want that? At least. Will do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I um, have no fingerprint on one of my fingers. I don't think I have all my fingerprints that I was born with. I will fully admit that I've burnt a few off. <laughs> Camping. Camping. When, when we had to do like this splicing rope technique and then we had to cinch the yet, yeah. <laughs> I lost my index finger for that one. Um, Not the whole index finger, just the fingerprint. Just the fingerprint, yeah. So we're just lining it up in the centre. It's going to be the same gap every time. Hot glue. <laughs> Was that who you who lost theirs to hot glue? Uh, Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea. One of my best friends lost hers to hot glue. I think. Your father's got missing fingerprints because of a hot glue boat that him and Noah made. <laughs> was it that paddle pop one that just the sunk? paddle pop one that sunk? Yes. <laughs> it was like a it was a full bag of paddle pops and yep. like ten what was it ten to twenty odd glue sticks? No, a hundred glue sticks and five hundred <laughs> paddle pop sticks. And if you look at the sides, it should be even out here on the sides as well. Yeah. It was never going to float. It's never going to float. They spent weeks mm. and weeks. Noah was very young. He wasn't even at school yet. It was very exciting. But yes, 100 glue sticks and, and 500 paddle oh, pot sticks. Later, and we had and the boat didn't sleep. sink, didn't float. It sunk. <laughs> yeah. But it was waterproof. <laughs> Actually, it was. <laughs> was it waterproof when the water went over the top of it? <laughs> Rightio. So I'm just lining it up in here. The whole scheme of things, if it's a little bit crooked, you're not going to know once it's crooked. You're not going to know. Once you decorate, add your photos, put one or two photos on an angle. Oh, baby, we're not putting photos on an angle. I do. Because I'm bound to have one crooked, so you know you have three. But it fixes the problem. And then let's put this over. 
So you just come on back here and do all the pages over or no? Gosh, and you did the pages. Open up. So once you cover them, so these would get covered with. So if you were just going to plainly cover these, they would be covered with like. Uh, so the pieces would be. They'd be five inches by five and a quarter inches oh I don't know what that is so it's five inches up and down and five and no so it's five inches across five inches across and five and a quarter up and down if you're going to make flippy things they would be like to make so then to make let's close the glue to make these ones they would end up being um, a seam they would be six inches across by five and a half high so six across five and a half high and you'd score one inch in from the edge so that one inch would be your tab here and then when you close it it would be a quarter of an inch short of your edge here so that it didn't get caught when you open and closed your book. Yeah, Hello, Diane. How are we? What's that? Five and a half high. No, it's five and a quarter. No, that's the piece you stick on it. Oh, okay. So this yeah. is your your covers, yeah, yeah, your yeah, page yeah. covers. But if you're doing a flipper, one of these. Five and a half. Yeah. So it's six inches wide by five and a half high, and you're mm -hmm. going to score it one inch in from the end. Mm -hmm. And then what that's going to give you is this flipper that's a quarter of an inch short on the edge yep. with a one inch gusset. So you've got strength in well, your flipper well, so it doesn't rip off. Right so this pocket here is just, so if you're going to do one of these pockets, it's just two and a quarter wide by your five and a half high. And then you just put your tape on three sides now I would still say I don't know where it went. I use red tape. I use red tape for that and a tiny slither of glue to do that. And I had these in the pocket when I stuck it down and I just so it's like quarter of an inch red tape around and then I've really burnished it really, really well to get a nice seal but I had these in the pocket when I did it so that Thank it you. had that stretch so it got the stretch for the pocket as you did it um so another flippy thing Diane B has joined us uh Margaret H so she's gonna have to try my this. craft room's upside down at the moment and That's you great. do my favorite craft project bookmaking I'm sure itching to do this one have grandbabies that love these special their specials you know what little kids love Mary is these little tiny ones. The Milton ones. and Naomi yeah. and Noah loved these when they were little, but Millie Ann did too. But Milton and Naomi especially loved it when I made them little books, like little books about themselves, or little books about the alphabet or about the pet. Or they love those. But there, that's a basic. Actually, is this dry? I believe so. Let's do oh, some. Who didn't prepare it? I feel like that's a me, but how are you gonna lay these out on the inside cover? There you go, get them ready. What oh, we're doing this now? Yep. Oh. Work out how you're gonna do that while I do this bit. Well, I can't be on the video. Why? Well, because this is like really not ideal. <laughs> like I like this. <laughs> I'm just coming in for a sneak peek. Quick! I do have a ton of fussy cutting to decorate this. They told me I'm not allowed to photograph it to put it. Well, it is on the website for the 5x7s. But I'm not allowed to um, photograph it or do a video of it. Um, I flick through until I decorate it. So I've done 
a whole pile of fussy cutting to decorate this um, nautical dreams one. I just weekend. would like you to decorate it because you do like embellishing things, but you barely ever get time to embellish in any books because yeah, I don't get time to do try display and do, stuff. Do the Too classes much. in a reasonable time. Yeah. Well, do you want, does it need more? That'll need, do to start with. That'll do to start with. You need to stick So there we go. Down. That's a bit of embellishment. That's a bit of an idea. And then let's stick this on. Some of the paint's still wet. Not a problem. Yeah, look at that. It's a lay flat book as well. Just so you know. Did I pull the tape off? Yes, yes I did. Dude, I'm tired. You were hurrying me while you were pulling off the tape. I know you were pulling the tape off. I felt hoodled. <laughs> you felt hoodled. <laughs> Being careful because the gall the paint is still wet in places. There we go. Look at that. We've covered. And we've got well we've got eight pages or sixteen faces. Straight up. Ready to go. Um, Mary says her daughter has to read her daughter the little books. Mind you, Charlie knows the book. My daughter Maggie has to read her daughter her little books. <laughs> knows her book off by heart. I bet she knows it by heart, Mary. Uh, this is them. a great little book club. So yes. there we go. That's how easy it is. Yeah, if we come out another quarter of an inch, it would have looked fuller. But to do that, we can't do this spine treatment as one piece. You could do it, but you would have to then have each of these here with a join in. The, the very also, base one would need a join. It's also nice to have this bit of gap because if you are going to do flippies, those are going to come out just a little bit more as you well. You could do some little pockets and pull-outs as exactly. well. Or you could do like, you know, the little tabs. Little tabbies. Tabs. Use that new circle punch we've got in and make some circle tabs. But, yeah, so there you go. I think I will have to try this book. You made the instructions easy to understand. Thank you, Margaret. Do you guys want a kit for the book at this point? So love this. I'll be making a few for sure. Just got to hide for a day so no one can bother. But it was really quick. Like you can see, and I, I did slow down. I did slow right down. And go through it but you can see how easy it is and look we've got a join where's our join it's covered oh look there's a join here i think and a join here i can't tell but where you can kind of tell i just put a torn piece of paper over yes um, please for the kit yeah and karen else says that she thinks we could sell a digital pdf of the instructions yeah it's so, like i could build one okay. we are going to do some pdfs we're going to do a pdf of the cutting instructions for this one. Um, this is going to yeah. be made into um, three reels as well, so then with links to the actual class. So then if you lose the link to this class, it'll be easier to find on our yeah. socials. So we'll make a basic kit to get you to this point. Yeah. It'll just be, it'll be your set of covers, it'll be your two bits of cardstock, um, your two pieces of your glitter card, your one piece of your brick, and your colour cut, color cut and, and your piece of chipboard. Card. There'll be no paint, no tape, no glue, and it won't have your tool set. set. So you will have to buy the tool set separately. But it's pretty, um, I, yeah, I've already used this that many times. And if you are worried about this bit in here, remember this bit was actually the same height as the spaces. So yeah, when we made it. So a six inch book has five and a half inch high pages. So it is your spacer. It's your spaces. And you have your spaces so the writing is the right way up. And then you know that you've got your spacer in the right way and it's the right size. Right, so Debbie's joined us. Naomi, you finally worked out that how easy this was. You just. <laughs> no one can see my hair. I Christ. reckon Quentin could make a book oh my gosh that's what we should get the boys to do on the holidays we should um, make the boys make books no we should get the boys to try and follow one of our classes oh my god 
see how they uh, go. Looks exciting. Need to watch replay. Yep, Debbie, you do. It, I think I think it was pretty exciting. We've we've had fun and we've made so we've made this. If we don't see you before Easter, have a happy. Thank Easter. you, Trish. Yes, have a happy and safe Easter. If you're traveling or your family are traveling, um, please make sure you stay safe. Um, and yeah. I think there's plenty for you to watch and do, and we're gonna we're gonna make the kit now. Sure, sure she says. Sure, she's gonna make it now. There we go. Can you get Amelia to come and see if I'm? I'm gonna go and wrangle a nine-year-old. She's um, watching Princess Charm School. Oh, dear me, we're watching Barbie. So um, I'm going to go and get her organised. I didn't bring home. We got new scissors, some scissor top ups today, circle punches and some Prima flowers for our flower fans. So, um, yeah, we did get them in today. Um, but, yeah, so happy Easter. Happy Easter, happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter to you guys. Thank you. Stay safe um good cruise photo book oh debbie and there's other sizes so there's a six by eight so it's six wide eight high um it's a diana c request so there's quite a few um in there and when you re-watch the video remember these glitter pieces are meant to be eight by nine not eight by eight so the glitter pieces were eight by nine but you cannot see my joints these pieces are really good for it and also, I bits. think our, the abstract ones, like the galaxies and all the rest of it. The galaxies good. would look really good as well. And you can just cover the join with a torn piece like this. And it goes all the way around. Wraps all the way around and it's underneath this centre piece in there. So, yeah. So, happy Easter. Take care. Stay safe. Love you all. And we really, truly appreciate you spending your time with us. Um, we know your time is valuable and um, we do appreciate you spending your time with us. So um, thank you all and um, can't wait to see your mini books. Um, I just think this is a game changer. This is just something I've been working on for a while. You know how my brain works in overdrive and, um, yeah, and the covers also. So if you have a different size you'd like, let us know and if it's, if it's workable and doable, we'll definitely make it. Okay. Yeah. So love is all. Take care and see you soon. Bye. Bye.